To make the galaxy backdrop, you will need a large cardboard box. Heavy duty is best, so it lasts a long time. Make sure it's at least 18 inches or taller. Start by removing the bottom flaps of the box and set those aside for a later craft. I'm leaving the top flaps on to give me more height. If you have any uneven or jagged edges, go ahead and cover those with scrap pieces of paper. Once all of your edges are covered, go ahead and paint one entire side either a black or a really dark blue. This is going to be our galaxy wall. Now make a paint palette with blues, purples, and pinks and start painting on top of the black galaxy wall. There's no right or wrong way to do this. Just do little patches or sections of each color. And then before each color dries, you can overlap with your paintbrush. It's okay to have two or three colors on your paintbrush at a time. It helps to blend the colors. I'm doing the galaxy wall without a sponge, but another cool effect is to use a sponge once you paint the colors on. It helps to blend the colors together and it eliminates any brush strokes. You can also add some fun details in your galaxy like planets or unexplained swirls in the sky. Here I started with a white circle, then I added white a little bit of light blue and just went around the white circle, then I added a little bit of white, light blue, and dark blue, and I just kept building the circle out, blending each layer together. Here I'll add a planet, but this time I'll use white, yellow, orange, and red. When you make the planets or designs in the sky, it's best to start with the lightest color and then work your way to the darker colors. Once you have covered your wall in your galaxy design, take a paintbrush dipped in white paint, use your finger and flick the stars onto the galaxy. That completes your DIY galaxy wall and this is perfect to put in Luciana's bedroom or to use behind her Mars habitat. Now I don't want to waste the backside so I'm going to make this a double sided backdrop. I'm giving the walls a base coat of white but I'm painting the top flaps a black. I have an idea for these. I want the wall to have an uneven textured look, so I'm using a sponge to cover the entire wall with this teal color. Now I'm adding a little ombre effect to the bottom portion of the wall. I'm painting on a layer of purple, then going over it with my sponge to blend the colors. And then on the very bottom, I'm adding a hot pink and again going over it with the sponge to blend it in. I also tossed on some glitter while the paint was wet. Now that the paint is dry, I'm adding strips of white paper along the bottom for the baseboards. I added the galaxy design to the top flaps so these could be windows at the top of the room, kind of like skylights. Now I'm taking strips of scrap paper and framing out the windows. And that completes our painted wall. So we have one side that is a complete galaxy wall, which I will use for Luciana's Mars habitat scene. And then we have this side, with an ombre sparkly wall, galaxy skylights, and I'm using this side for Luciana's bedroom. I love that she can have a normal sparkly wall, but then at the top, she can look out the windows and see the galaxy. And when you're done with play, you can fold it up and put it away. Leave us a comment and tell us what the next galaxy craft should be, and subscribe to become an AGI crafter.